what up legends how's it going today for our daily deck showcase we're going to be playing a pretty spicy pre-stack that was created by the one and only zetalot um it is quite unique in the sense that it utilizes leroy as a uh, main mechanic um i don't know if i could call leroy a mechanic but the, the main source of damage in the deck is leroy and uh, we're going to duplicate him we're going to buff him and whatnot so um, that's going to be a pretty neat finisher. Of course, we have Alex Straza to help us along the way. We'll give that a try on the ladder. Hopefully have some fun while doing so. And of course, um, for those of you who are interested, there is a guide for that in the description. It's going to be on the heart pawn. You guys can go click on that and check that out. Let's get into a couple games. Try to have some fun. Uh, beat a couple people and... Um, All right, bros, let's freaking do this. We have a warrior, and we're playing against we're playing against something that's going to be absolutely hellish for us to do. No, this is not gonna this is not gonna end very well, unless I get a really really good early game, which this is. Then we're in for we're in for trouble. We're absolutely in for trouble. Um, what are we supposed to do here? Is that just a Norchark Cleric? Norchark Cleric play? I feel like it is. Like a Norchark coin Norchark play. So I can heal one of them. And then put extra arms onto her or something. Or I could just keep healing just draw everything that I need. That'd be sweet. Well, I'm drawing two cards, that's for sure. Right away. Right away. Hell yeah. Already I'm happy. I've got Recurring Villain. Um, once we start getting bananas, this is going to be absolutely bananas. I feel like we're going to have a great time. In the meantime, I just wanted to mention that um, I'm doing a giveaway for the new expansion coming out pretty soon. The giveaway itself is going to happen on card dump day. Uh, that usually happens about a week prior to the expansion release, uh, the day that they announce all the rest of the card that they have not shown yet. Um, if you guys are interested in having a chance at getting a full mega pre-purchase bundle for the new set, all you really have to do in order to participate in that giveaway is to be subscribed to my channel. So you go on, click on that big red button after you're done watching the video. That helps the channel tremendously. And also need you to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what you think of what we've seen of the set so far. Um, and I'll enter you in the draw for those 80 packs, golden legendary hero, etc, etc. Right? Um, so good luck to you. And uh, maybe mention it to your friends, I'm sure, especially if they're starting to, you're trying to start getting to Archstone and all, uh, that they might be just interested in having a chance at uh, getting a good start, right? Um, I think, I think we're going to go Zilliax. I think we're going to go Zilliax here. Kill this. And for the first time ever, you'll see a priest with more armor than a warrior. It makes absolutely no sense. But it's nice. It's really nice. I kind of want to play Archmage, but at the same time, not. I think I'm going to keep the more arms for Recurring Villain. We know the opponent is probably going to play Brawls. We know the opponent is probably going to play a bunch of mechs. Um, this is going to be a little weird. Obviously, Leroy Jenkins' Vivid Nightmare is its own thing. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Alright, that is happening. I will attack here. I will play... I play Xerix? I'll play Xerix. It probably will die. Um, as the opponent does not want me to get an extra copy of Xerix. However, I don't care at all about Xerix. I mean, he's helpful. I don't care much. What I really want is to set up Recurring Villain because, well, 
I guess Xerix and Recurring Villain is basically the same thing. It's got Zilliax to go with that too. Huh, interesting. Okay, so Xerix is dead. I can do this. I can heal this guy. I will play Archimage Vargoth. I will heal Archimage Vargoth, obviously. We just want him to stay healthy and alive and powerful enough to... Uh... Yeah, 210, that's great. Unless he's got Execute, at which point I'll be really sad. But currently, we're in a decent position. It's not, it's not the best spot you've ever seen. Um, there's plenty of ways for us to lose still. Although this is this is quite fine. Oh boy, I really want to replicate this. I'm not gonna do that. I'll play recurring villain. I will play more arms. Wait, no, actually, while I have him on the board, I'll play extra arms. So that way I get an extra more arms in my hand. We chunk the warrior for the very first time. Ooh, that is good. Recurring villain looking sexy. And this is one of the ways we will achieve our Leroy Jenkins combo for 16 damage. Um, 10 mana, 16 damage is quite tasty. In fact, right next turn we could do 12. Um, I've got the beast. That's really good. Hey. Alright. Recurring villain comes back. We have plenty of more arms to play, so we do not care much. I will use my weapon to attack into BGH. Ah. Okay. It's a bit unfortunate. Let's attack. Um, he's at uh, 33. I don't believe I can do 33 right now. He has not brawl. But I will replicate the... The villain. Um, that way, when they die, I get two back. Hell yeah. That is absolutely what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that is nasty. It would have been nastier if uh, if Power Word Replicate would have hit Recurring Villain again. It is pretty complicated for brawls. Like, you have to kill them, then you brawl. Yikes. So they both come back. And then he, he would have to brawl again. There he goes. So we're done with both of his brawls. Right now. We don't have to worry about brawl anymore. Uh, we're really close. This does 16 and not 18, unfortunately. So uh, that's just what's going to happen right here. Unless I'm mistaken. But... Uh, Yep, this is just what we're going to do. We're just going to smash the opponent. As much damage as we can. Oh um, man, pass her turn. Right, because this is 6, then it becomes 8, and then becomes... Uh, yep, it becomes 16. Recurring villain dies. Good thing he did not have... the ability to have this guy rush. Although... Omega Devastator comes in, clears the other recurring villain. We are absolutely all out of... Nope, we're not all out of villains. But it does not matter. It does not matter because we have Leroy Jenkins. And my boy Leroy is going to finish the opponent off in a bang, in a flash, in a jiffy. I am the happiest Kiwi you've ever seen. I beat a warrior. With a weird combo priest deck, which is absolutely glorious. Feels good. Alright. We're playing against the Warlock. A lot of Warlocks at the moment seem to be playing um, some variant of Bithrug. Or like a um, plot twist decks. So it can be pretty interesting. I will keep this hand. Um, it sounds like it's going to do decently well for us. Um, turn one, Norchar, turn two, 
extra arms. Eventually, we have Archmage Vargot, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, we can just do this, kind of trade, heal a bit. Yeah, this sounds good. This sounds alright. I feel like we're gonna have a good time. Oh, he's not attacking. He should have attacked there. Extra arm is definitely going in. We can kill that real quick. If the opponent does not want um, for me to heal, he's gonna trade. I doubt that's gonna happen. What is he doing? Okay, he's being like super aggressive right there. That is interesting. Um, since he's being the aggressive one, might as well just do this and then coin out Vargoth. Um, he can kill the Cleric if he wants, but I doubt he can also kill Archmage Vargoth, at which point I can uh, I can play more arms on too. Which is nice. It's generally quite nice. Or, he does kill Archmage Vargoth somehow. Wow. Who was able to? I am surprised. I am surprised by what he's managed to do there. Let's do this. Let's go Divine him. Heal all the way. Um, yes, we lost... Big boy Vargoth, but we have drawn a few cards. We're in a decent spot. I'm okay with this. And of course, we'll eventually get the ever-recurring villain. It's just gonna keep coming back and back and back. I think we got this guy. I believe we have got this guy. That's a trade. That is a heal. And pass my turn. I'm not going to spend the, the more arms on to the other cleric, even though I totally could. Um, I can utilize that on the Zerk. I can utilize that on the villain. This is fine. Well, I don't, I don't kind of, I really don't think I want to trade. I mean, I, I want to heal her again because I have enough cards in my hand. I'll just play Master Cloner. By the way, just trying to mention here that he's the aggro deck and we have the board right now, somehow. Because Nurture Cleric is really good. That's gone. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because I could have replicated it. Well, good friend, this is getting traded, this is getting attacked, we're playing Recurring Villain, we are playing more arms on said Recurring Villain and dealing a ton of face damage. You're at 13, um, I'm in a great spot. I do not believe I will need Leroy during this game, although, if I did draw him, that would be 12 damage to the face immediately. You have a good idea doing the uh, the token type deck nonsense it is not going to work here <laughs> all right you're still super dead soon shadow word yep shadow word death I've got two of them I've got two I have two Shadow Word Death and I've got a Wild Pyromancer. This is happening. A hundred percent of the time. Just clean everything. Get rid of the entire board. A goodbye? <laughs> Recurring villain kind of assures victory here, unless he's got silence and something to kill somehow. Which does exist in Priest's next expansion. Yeah? That's not really... That's not really doing much. I've got... I've got Mass Dispel. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, we're good. Because I know he's got under one drop zone. At least you'd think he does. And there we go. He survives for one turn, but he does not. He loses Leroy. Unfortunately, get finished by a big mass dispel. And there we go, boys. Against Zoo. That is incredible. I appreciate that. I understand I could have made a little bit longer video, however, I am getting sick and I felt like the two games that we've had with this so far represented the deck extremely well, especially that uh, that first one, that was an absolute blast. I would like for you guys to give it a shot, let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is a really fun tech on the ladder right now. Don't know how far you can climb with this, but it's definitely an absolute blast to play with. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already, and of course I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.